Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. Isaiah the Terrible, history has dubbed that fearless Old Testament prophet because he cried out a group of evils. In the eighth chapter of his book, for instance, concerning capitalism, greedily practiced without restraint, woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. In mine ears said the Lord of hosts of a truth, many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair, without inhabitant. Well, it doesn't take a nudge from the prophet staff to know that when the super-powerful scheme to crowd out the little guy, too much wealth keeps collecting in too few hands, seeds are being sown which will someday produce a convulsion in which many houses shall be desolate. The world could certainly profit from that ancient message today. Next, Isaiah tackles another evil that is bedfellow with lots of money, although it can and often does curse the poor. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night, till the wine inflame them, and musical instruments are in their feast. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Therefore hell hath enlarged itself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their multitude and their pomp shall descend into it. The prophet's condemnation is both against the people who besought themselves with mind-altering substances, and the government that prostitutes itself to allow those substances to be readily available. In his day, the primary culprit was alcohol, but ugly as its unrestrained use is, in our world there are pills and powders that make it look almost benevolent by comparison. Isaiah says that people thirsting for the pleasures of these vices make them the business of their lives, beginning early and sitting up late. They have painted a layer of art over their swinishness by having music as well as wine, just so today that many a drug and alcohol-fueled party, the skills of the guitar or piano must add to the attractions and give a false air of culture to pure animal-like behavior. Isaiah feels how inappropriate it is and expresses it by a catalog of musical instruments, then adding and wine as if he would underline the degradation of the great art of music to make it the cupbearer of sots. A reveler is blind to even the most obvious signs of God's hand against such a life, such a society. He knows that it means destroyed health, ruined prospects, broken hearts, but nothing rouses him from wading through the debris of shattered hopes and dreams all around him to get his next high, whether or not his poison is legal. Lofty, serious thoughts of God and eternity don't fit him. His sin compels him to be godless or go mad. Are you ready for this searing judgmental lesson again? Well, maybe those old Israelites were too. They certainly very, weren't very kind to the man of God who came to thunder holy truth against lives of selfish pleasure. But he wasn't finished, for he wasn't speaking only from his own human revulsion at watching people make of themselves so much less than they were created to be. He was channeling the voice of Almighty God, and his closing sentences should send a shiver of dread over every one of our souls. Hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. This almost sounds like pot morphs into meth that the addict using cocaine today, cocaine today rather, will add fentanyl tomorrow. The long and terrible list of things that open the gaping mouth of hell are growing all the time, and tomorrow something even more addictive and deadly must replace today's killer. And what about that dreadful word, hell? Jesus taught us about a place of the lost where the fire is not quenched. And so closes the fifth chapter of Isaiah, like so much of the Old Testament, by plainly laying out the wrong that God sees and will not excuse without one word of hope or offer of deliverance. Thank God for Jesus Christ. The vilest sinner can come to him and find the mercy he spoke of at the Last Supper. You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.